I'm here to support my sister Titi Aboyadeko on the premiere of her movie Majemu Egbo. My name is Titi Aboyadeko. I'm the CEO of Podium International, and today we are at the premiere of Majemu Egbo Sisters Covenant. My name is Lawala on a banjo. My role is about little sport brat. You just came from London, which is kind of like what I really was, but not really. And then I had to kind of adapt to the system and I wasn't really having it, but it gets like that. As the name says, it's about a covenant between siblings and it didn't turn out very well. Watch the rest. I'm thinking it's going to be a very intriguing story. Probably going to be also very emotional. And also maybe some elements of truth. Because sometimes when we watch these movies, it reflects. Uh, it's a reflection of our lives. Especially as Africans. And I always say we're the best storytellers anyway. I can't wait to see the movie actually. just like to very warmly welcome all of you here to this extremely special uh, premiere that we have this evening of Sisters Covenant. Um, there's not much for us to say today than to thank us for coming despite everything going on in London today. It's been difficult, everywhere's on lockdown and um, we hope you enjoy it. I don't want to say too much about the movie, but like everything I wanted to say had been said by DJ Abbas. We're going into movie because we have stories to tell. We have things to correct in the society. We have things to also expose in the society. And we have lessons to learn. So sit back and enjoy the movie. Thank you. For these 30 days, you have to be in the house. And only take a map, the motto for Koya Dembi Bay. Where is my wristwatch? No, I gambled with it. Can you gamble with it? Tell him, sorry. She told me this watch, she said, Sorry, I did. I will get you another one. Come on, to Nuria Poche, who the team job of you. She made the card doctor, let me run. You don't let the judge. I went there with the Abu Shesh, Abu Shesh. She wants to beat me. Yes, I want to beat you, what? That I'm not a kid anymore. I used to look after myself over there. That is what you are, a kid! I don't want some more demo. If I help you, anything that gives you has to go to me. Favoritism is not good for the family, for the father to show favoritism to any child or the mother. And two, we should raise our children in one voice. Even if you think your partner is wrong, you don't say it in front of the child. I think it's important we let Michael understand the significance of what has just happened. It's who you know in this industry. This is a cutthroat industry, and you speak with anybody in the creative arts. So if you have a parent that has decided to invest in your first theatrical release because any which way you look at it, this is going to go out there and offers can come from anywhere. Not everybody has that opportunity to have parents who can invest. So it's important you understand that, Michael. I just thought I should say that, yeah? Cool. What were the challenges and how were you able to cope with them? <laughs> Thank you very much, Topin. Um, the I'm just going to summarize that because it's a long story. You start the challenges of Nollywood films from the script stage. Because we live here, we don't do things their way. I'm not saying that what they're doing, you know, they know what they're doing to a certain extent. But because we live here, you think you expect certain things to be a certain way. Mm -mm. 
they will say, I change it to bad day. If you say adjustments, they'll say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I dialogue it. And if you say no, you have to bring the story together this way, they'll say, Oh, I feel I feel script is all. So a lot of things, we don't do things the same way. One of the challenges is we don't you fight, you struggle, you get radiation, you get everything along the lines, even post-production. You say this is how I as a producer. You're supposed to be able to say, I want it this way, and they have their own idea and say, why is that a shame, shame? I'm so proud of them for being able to achieve this standard. Oh, I'd just like to say I'm very proud of Michael because at the point when he shot his movie, um, he was going through what he was going through, and it shows how strong he is because he's running around, but only God knows what. You know how much effort it has to take for him to actually put that through. I think the production was lovely. Um, I think the standard was good. The quality was good. So I'm really impressed. I wasn't expecting this, but the movie came at the right time because of the crime, knife and crime that's going on in London. You know, this is for the youths, all youths everywhere to watch. It's a very nice movie. Oh, the cast is good. Uh, uh, nice, well-written script and, and well-acted. It has a storyline and it was made to give a message, to project a message to parents and young children of today that if you don't communicate with your parents well, you're going to go for a left direction. And if parents don't communicate with your children well, you'll never understand what's going on in their lives. So you'll never be able to communicate with them properly. So the movie gave that storyline. It was nice to watch. Excellent. It's a story that many of us are living and I just, it's something so encouraging, inspiring. And I know for the youth, it's something that they will learn a lot. Excellent movie, quite inspirational. But hey, what do you expect? It's podium, it's Titi Abadi Cole.